Hey, this is not a spring chicken. I have one thing to say, and that is Happy New Year's. Oh, actually, today's Happy, I guess Happy New Year's Eve, or today's New Year's Eve. So wherever you're watching, I know, the ball drop, have a wonderful time. Oh, did you catch us, New York Times? Yes, Nibby is billboard at Times Square. Yes, there we were. Oh, I guess we better bring old Kim on with comment on the headlines of today. Ah. Okay, if you're curious about what we were talking about in New York, yes. Um, us from MBN News Video Up, oh yes, and the Chair Dog Monty Bubbles and the Bikinis are going to be in Times Square today at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Nivea's Billboard in New York. Well, well you'll have missed it by the time you see this. Oh, but, that's true. But it's all over our, our websites and our Facebook pages. Oh, about yeah, it. that's true. <laughs> so if you <laughs> no, don't you know about it by now, like... you're never going to. Okay, but we do have some screen captures. And Obama shifts far left with his plan to release Gitmo prisoners unless they can be tried in USA courts. I know, they're still pissed about that. That's two days in a row that they've told him that it's got off of stupid because the Democrats won't go for it. Yeah, and Obama, no, not Obama, Stephen Hawking seeks help to make his voice heard. Yeah, I guess Obama does too. Well, yeah, no, but Hawking, basically, he's got an artificial voice I know, to begin so with. They, they want He's basically development. wanting it to sound less artificial. He, wants it to, he doesn't want a mechanical sounding voice. He wants a normal sounding voice. So, I mean, I have this question to begin with, whether Stephen Hawking's, uh, since he can't move and he can't do anything, I find it very difficult to believe he does all the scientific accomplishments that he does. I have a tendency to believe that somebody is signing his name to their work. Oh, interesting. Yep. Oh, but here's another good one, too. Verizon, after all of the, the bad press on that they're going to oh, charge you. $2 a, for yeah, paying their bill? They rescinded it because uh, that they were they, they, they were told by the FCC and the FT, uh, Federal Trade Commission, you're just adding an extra fee, which you don't have permission to do. And that's the killer right there. Mm. Going to charge you $2 fee for paying in cash. And now, if you didn't, if no, you, did, you, did, if you, you didn't pay, pay in, cash, didn't pay in cash, cash, you had to pay a two dollars fee for not paying in cash, and nobody pays in cash. That's true. Well, when they go to the um, the stores to pay, they'll pay by a check or they'll pay by a credit card. Right. They won't pay in cash. Well, do they even accept cash at those places? I don't even know if they do. Oh, a lot they, of places. They do. They got a machine. They got automated machines at those places to take cash, but they generally all take your credit cards too. They won't accept checks at the machines, so. Economy ends tough 2011 on a surprising upswing. No, it didn't because, of, okay, it was a phony upswing, folks. Every market in the world, including two of the markets in our country, folded for the year. They ended up down below last, but they ended up below 210. And all, our market ended up with a 6% raise only because in the last week, the market went up by about 800 points on horrible news. Oh, really? Unemployment is up. Uh, uh, people filing for unemployment is up. They're not hiring people. Uh, the, uh, Europe is collapsing. China basically announced that they're not going to meet any of their goals and are having to retrench on everything. And our market went up. And guess oh, where it, it, it tended to go up in areas Obama has control over. Are we supposed to be surprised about that? No. And eight U.S. soldiers charged in death of bullied comrade. I know, that's what happens, you know, they, they get somebody, what it is, you're not supposed to tell people when you do something like that, so. Oh, you're not? Otherwise, what happens? Well, this is what happens, they get charged in it, generally you don't, what happens is, um, that you can go look at the movie with Jack Nicholson and Tom Cruise and Demi Moore, where uh, they accidentally killed a person teaching him a lesson. Oh, really? That goes on more than people would think in the military. But it just, they list it as an accidental death because uh, they don't want to break down in the chain of command and by charging people with killing people for, you know, for not doing their job, which is what amounts to. I know, it's another low one. They're taking off into the fog. Oh yeah, they're going to make it, okay, pilots only fly so many hours a month. Now they're going to cut those hours back because you know what that does? What? It means the unions bring in more pilots. Uh -huh. It has nothing to do because uh, 
uh, the, a pilot basically is not supposed to do back-to-back -back flights and they can only fly like 60 hours in a month. People fly, people work 40 hours a week and the pilots fly 60 hours a month. Wow, that's 15 hours a week. Yeah. That's right. They'll, maybe, they'll make a flight there and a flight there back. It's a long flight. And that's all they do. Two women share the first kiss at U.S. Navy ship's return. Yeah, which basically is not what Obama wanted to see all over the place. Is you know, gay people, you know, when the pictures... Oh, is that what it, two women were kissing each other? I thought two women were kissing one man. Uh-uh. The gay people were all over the place when the ship came back to make a political statement. Uh-huh. And they, uh, when they asked Obama about what he thought, and he said... Uh, well, I'm. Uh, I said I'm not in charge. Of, so I can't tell civilians to do and what not do. But he, that is totally improper conduct in the military, folks. That will get you court martial no matter what. Yeah. So what they were told that they couldn't do that. They told they couldn't get married and they couldn't get military marriages. They couldn't do that on ba on the things. And the dock is part of the military base. Well, and I, but I thought he wanted to let gays in the military. So uh, I know, but they let gays in the military provisionally, with uh, with restrictions. <laughs> Guess what happened? Yeah, and, and it's also a violation of the uniform military code for uh, officers and enlisted people to be fraternizing with one another. Oh, is that what was happening? No, it's just total breakdown in the chain of command. They blamed that. A Democrat, basically, that supports gay rights, said this was da massively damaging oh. to gay rights. Yeah, because they're not supposed to be, well, first of all, they're not supposed to be fraternizing at all. Then they broke all the rules. Every rule that was set down, that was agreed to, they broke them all oh. at one time. And, well, they're, 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 they're demanding to be married now by military chaplains and stuff, which the military said was not going to happen either. And Obama put himself in a corner. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, certainly did. Geezer Bandit may not be as old as he appears. Oh, the, supposedly they got an old guy robbing things, and now they're trying to say the old guy's a young guy. I've seen the things. It's not a makeup job, folks. Are you serious? He's just some old guy that's robbing things. And shell oil spill off Nigeria, likely the worst in a decade. Yeah, it's, it's bigger than the British Petroleum spill. Our, every spill out there is bigger than the BP spill, folks. Really? Yeah, but they don't get as much press in this country because they wanted to make a point. You know, the point is being that even with the Gulf shut down, we are the number one producer of oil in the world, and our oil is being shipped out. You know, here we got a problem with rising prices and they're shipping tankers full of oil out of this country. Uh, something wrong going on. I love this one. man trying to take 247 animals on a plane. Uh, they, they noticed it. First yeah. of, yeah, they didn't notice it. <laughs> They, they, well, obviously they can't be that big. Uh, no, but they were stuffed in pockets of jackets and things, what? socks. What are they? Uh, you know, like, uh, 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 no, they were, you know, like birds and small and, and young, really baby pets and stuff. You put them are in socks serious? and in, in, <laughs> in, you know, in sleeves and stuff, but they... I thought they were going to be like well, microbes No, they, they sat up, they give them sedatives to keep them quiet, but the problem is they open things up, folks. 247 bags, okay. 247 animals in bags cause an abnormal weight. Yeah. You, they do That's weigh up. Yeah, so they, they caught him. They're all like endangered species, too, which means they'll go to jail forever. Are you they're all endangered species? Yeah. I think that's what, endangered species trafficking or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, North Korea's new leaders lash out South Korea and allies. Oh, well, yeah, because he has to show how tough he is. Well, the military is running things now because this guy is Western. And so they don't want a Western leader in control no, of their country. they're trying to show who's boss right now. That's what happens. It's like you got to test the new leader, right? He's 20-some years old and spent his entire life in the, in the United States and in Europe. So he only came back because the, the uh, what was it? They said Kim Jong the stupid and Kim Jong the moron. And, you know, oh. the other sons were complete idiots. So... This one is college educated and very smart. Oh, God. That's not really very good. That's right. And Boeing wins $3.48 billion U.S. missile defense contract. Well, yeah, but uh, it will, it, it, it's, you know, they'll never allow it to happen because uh, Obama basically has got a war going on with uh, Boeing, remember? No. Yeah. That's right. And in a first, gas and other fuels are top U.S. exports. I know, and that's something that it, it, it cannot happen in a country that needs the petroleum. We're exporting, we're leading the world in exports now. How is that? 
It's impossible. Now, what it amounts to is Obama is trying to make it look that we're flowing in oil. we got so much oil that we can ship it out. are the number one importer? We're the number one importer in the world. We are the number one importer in the world, so therefore we can't be the number one exporter. Mm. But that's Obama logic, though. He thinks that nobody pays any attention. And Newt Gingrich weeps and Mitt Romney attacks Ron Paul. I know. know, Well, Ron Paul is going to win Iowa. It's a gimme that he will win Iowa. And they're, they, like they said, what's happening is they're using Ron Paul as a protest vote, and it's, it's conceivable Ron Paul will win enough delegates before the election to basically uh, mandate the platform be the Ron Paul platform, which would mean there's no way on earth the Republicans can win the election. A New Year cheer starts early, and time jumping is a while. Oh, I know. I sat there, and uh, there's some more change the time so they could be New, New Year first. So. Are you serious? Yeah. And a Monty bubble is a from Mark Twain in the animal kingdom. Just because you're old doesn't mean you can't handle the job you've been doing all your life.